Okay, I'm working on a old 318 Rotax Skidoo engine. Um, one I had an old sled, and you know what? It seems like every time that I try to make a video, 318. But anyways, every time I make a goddamn video, some goddamn camcorder or video recording device that I have ends up the batteries are no good, and I can see the batteries flashing here. So I'm gonna make this fast. All right, so you have a Rotax engine, and you're not getting much power out of it. It runs, but you're not. It doesn't seem like it wants to open up. Well, this could be your this could be your problem here. Okay, when you're looking at it with this back on, you'll see that little tab inside there. See that little tab right in. I don't know if I can make it even clearer, but right in there, there's a little tab in there. It kind of looks like a you so that that moves back and forth and that's your advance so anyways, so that moves back and forth and that's your advance so what you should be doing with if you got an old sled and you're having trouble with it you can't seem like you get no power out of it pull up pull the cover off and look make sure that that's functioning properly if that's not moving well, you're not getting your advance. What happens is when it's spinning fast, centrifug centrifugal force will open this up or close it, either or. I think it's open. But anyway, so it moves forward, and this whole system here, this kind of cup thing that's supposed to spin on the shaft, this one's seized. So I suspect that the person that had the sled before me didn't get much power out of it, et cetera, et cetera. So, and the points need to be clean. So I'm cleaning this up and hopefully I can unseize this. And yeah, so that's my tip for Rotax engines. Make sure that this is working well. See, I kind of oiled her up. And I'll clean up all this stuff in here and I'll clean and set the points in here. Clean this all up in between there. And uh, yeah, make sure that this little tab, you'll see this little tab through the window actually. You might not see this stuff in here. You'll see that little tab in there. So you'll see that little little tab in the window. Here if I can kind of show you. You'll see, you'll see that little tab kind of something like that. You see it in the window there? So now if this is not moving right, if you can't move this up or down, there's a problem. So you'll have to pop off your I've got a puller, so I would recommend using a puller. I bought this online puller. Some guys don't use them, but you end up bending stuff. And see, what happens is a lot of guys get their pullers inside of here with the three-prong puller from the other side, and they'll mess. Oh, I don't want to smash up my magnets like that, but they'll mess up this system. And that's your advanced system. So you'll find lots of Rotax engines with the puller being used from the inside. So if you don't get your jaws around this, it works. Like you can use it. A lot of guys take the bolts out. That's a good way of doing it. If you can get the bolts out and threading a puller in there and then, you know, using a three-prong puller with the bolts, that works better. But anyways, that's not what I was getting at. What I was getting at is this. This should be moving. This shouldn't be stationary like it is. So there's no advanced system on this, so this is, it would still run, but it wouldn't open up the way it's supposed to, like rev out or advance. The, the timing won't advance. This is your timing advance. So you guys, you got a Rotax engine that's kind of...